Ninja 3, The Domination, is the third film in the anthology uh, Ninja Trilogy. The other two being Enter the Ninja and Revenge of the Ninja. Now, I didn't have access to the other two, so I just watched this one first uh, on Blu-ray. This movie has the greatest golf course ninja action scene of, in cinema history. And also the best sex scene in cinema history. Bar none. Just nothing can top that. I can't think of anything more memorable than the, the first half hour of this movie. The movie starts off with a uh, man going golfing with a couple of his friends. And a vicious ninja shows up. Uh, unstoppable with super strength. It kills all of his bodyguards, it kills him, he's a scientist or something. Uh, however, when the ninja's trying to make it its escape, uh, all these people converge, police shoot at him, they, they mortally injure him, and uh, he manages to just barely escape. And he passes on a sword to a maintenance worker. She's like, uh, works on power lines, she works for the city, I guess. And he passes on the sword to her, and turns out he's actually like a spirit of an evil ninja and it passes on through, through the sword. So the sword sort of possesses her, and now she's after the cops that originally killed the host before. And uh, she ends up dating a cop as well, so like he's helping her. No, they're just dating, he's not helping her do anything, but she ends up trying to like lead a double life, and she starts having amnesia and killing people and getting bruises on her body. So this movie is glorious, and it's over the top, and it's that opening massacre scene is great. It's like a 15-minute like a sequence, and then we have a really cringy sex scene. Uh, immediately after, we get this sort of cat and mouse because she keeps getting uh, possessed and killing cops, and then we introduce uh, someone to stop her, and another ninja shows up to stop her because only a ninja can defeat another ninja. And the action sequences are pretty cheesy. Uh, there's a scene where she has to fight uh, a couple of gym bullies. That's a great scene. Uh, the romance between the two is really cringy, too. Uh, I think the more funny stuff happens in the first half of the movie. The rest of the movie is actually a pretty competent action movie, especially the finale where they have a zombie ninja. Just straight up, it's a zombie ninja. It's, 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 it's just so awesome. Uh, there's a, it's basically just like a ninja movie action movie, but they throw in a dose of fantasy. Just enough to make it interesting, because the ninja has like super strength and stuff like that. And there's actually a really good showcase of ninja weaponry. You know, you get the stuff that you put on your feet to climb stuff, powder, um, chains and shurikens of all kinds, swords. There's a really good use of all the varied weapons, so it's a pretty enjoyable movie. Uh, the main character gets shafted at the end though, but it's not a big deal because you get you still get plenty of ninja action. Uh, the cinematic atrocity that is Ninja 3, The Domination, is pretty entertaining. It's um, not that hilarious, but there's just some moments that will just make you laugh. Like there's a, in the middle of a fight scene, all of a sudden, explosion. Just, just, just for the hell of it. Uh, it's definitely one of the more memorable uh, Globus um, canon movies. So I give uh, a cinematic atrocity score of 6 out of 10.